Baby Angeline here at the Boardwalk in Orangevale with the incredible, some of my very close friends here, One Eyed Doll. On the last leg of your tour, yes? Yeah, this is the final show of the entire tour here in Orangevale slash Sacramento, California. We are very happy to be talking to the beautiful, amazing, charismatic, oh, you do this every time. Mickey Angeline. She just makes me blush. You need to stop. This is about you too. This is about you too. Now, because I'm looking at this uh, card, and thank you for the all access crew pass. I love you too forever. So, what was your first interview? With you? No, with uh, anyone. My very first interview. Mm -hmm. It was a local band. I did a V103 in 2012, and it was my very my debut show was with uh, Rendezvous with Cool Beans. Wow. Yeah, and it was on Valentine's Day 2012. Was There's it actually a video out, and you should check it out because I look kind of hot. Really? Yeah. Was it scary? Surprise, surprise. I was skinny and I looked good. Were, were you were you confident in your first interview? Were you scared? I was. What's weird is so I, I watched the video, this was what, four years ago. And I'm looking at it going, Wow, I look like I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Wow. And it was my very, and I was scared. Just right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. Wow, good job. So that was my first funny that you would ask me that, Junior. I know. You trying to put me on the spot? I am, yeah. So what was the first show you've ever done? Let's see. One um, I was actually one with that guy right over there. Yep. Yeah. Um, it might have been in uh, Granny's backyard. Wait, so. what guy yeah. over here? You got to tell me. This guy with the glasses, uh, Tom Voigt. There we go. Uh, he uh, is a childhood, uh, babyhood friend. Infanthood. Infanthood yeah. friend. <laughs> and uh, we were in our first band together um, called Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. And we played, Are you kidding? We, no, I'm totally serious. And, uh, totally. Totally serious. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> uh, so oh, I walked into that one. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, How long ago? We was were that? fifteen or something. Oh, gotcha. And, um, okay. and it was so in the like back five, six, seven years. What was it? Eight years ago. <laughs> it was only like eight years ago. <laughs> yeah, eight or nine years ago when we were fifteen. <laughs> How was awesome. it like being able to get into Twenty One and Up clubs now? Yeah, I mean, for the last, what, year and a half, I've been able to get into a 21 and up club, so it's been... The age restrictions aren't a problem anymore, yeah. you're a real adult. It's not that big of a deal. I don't even drink, so, you know, whatever. Well, there you go. You just, you know, roll in pajamas all day. Yeah. I love it. I love, you're always in pajamas when I see you on tour. It's awesome. Yeah, it's... I gotta be in pajamas or else I lose my mind. Yeah? yeah. Keeps you grounded. So now I'm looking at this. <laughs> you, you two did a plethora of shows on this tour. 36. My gosh. And it looks like it started in March. So two months strong. Yeah, about two months ago, yeah. Two, yeah, oh my goodness. So of all the ones that you did, so you went across the U.S., um, do you have a memorable one, whether it's bizarre or fan-wise, location-wise? Because you have such a strong following. Yeah, we, you know, a lot of the shows are, are very very memorable we um just a couple of days ago we played at the legendary the whiskey a go go i saw that post yeah that was really how awesome. was that it was great we love playing there the staff are just so sweet to us there and you know, we've played the whiskey several times now so it's kind of our it's almost like a, a another hometown show for us <laughs> um and uh you know i've never been there is there, there anything crazy on the walls or like because that place is so iconic. The whole thing is, is uh, the whole thing is memorabilia. It's just like everything is just has been touched by some huge rock star. You yeah, know? you know they say like uh, the Doors and Zeppelin and uh, and Van Halen and all these other bands. You know, have played there. So. And you guys have played there too. And wasn't your name on the marquee? Yeah, yeah. We so um, we actually got on the news, so it was. There was like a, a Channel Five or whatever news, and it was like showed the marquee. Of yeah, whiskey and it was our all friend took a picture of his TV set with it on there. So now we have a picture of our name on the marquee of the whiskey on Channel Five TV. <laughs> that is badass. I mean, isn't that something? As corny as that probably sounds and feels, I'm sure that's something that's a highlight, isn't it? Oh yeah. It really, it really does feel awesome. It's, it feels, uh, it feels good. There is a time when. You know, a fancy place like that would never, ever have us. So we feel like we've we've come a long way and, um, to be able to headline the whiskey and actually got some really awesome reviews of the show. Oh, good. And so it's uh, it's great. It just we're just really grateful for that. They've always.
always been really good to us there. And you always put on such a dynamic performance, both of you. Especially you, Kimberly, and all yeah. your props. You know, I like One Eye Doll, especially Kimberly. I, you know how many times I hear that? One Eye Doll is really good, especially well, Kimberly. She's she's out my there favorite doing the member of One Eye Doll is Kimberly. We've had, we had him. Um, yeah. There's only Junior. There's only two members of One Eye Doll, I'll have you know. So if it's not Kimberly, that means, and I think Junior sucks, hey, is what you're really saying. Who's your favorite member of One Eye Doll, Mickey? You know it. Who's your favorite? Oh, you're gonna put me on the spot. Who's your favorite member? Of I don't have a favorite. That's like asking which child is my favorite. <laughs> As she strokes me from behind. You you have a, you have a problem with that question. A lot of people don't. Everybody's like Kimberly is my favorite. Not at all. Well, you know what? And and I can say I'm the last to say that I know the two of you. So from a, now, okay, let me take it back to when I first saw you. She's squirming now. No, no, no. I'm repositioning. So when I first saw the two of you, and I always, I love this story, I tell everyone this story. This is when you um, opened for OTEP at Ace of Spades, I think it was like three or four years ago. And Cherry Bomb, which is now Hey Violet, but Cherry Bomb, the All Girl Walk Fam was on that bill, and local favorite, Fair Struggle was on that bill. And so I'm there supporting Fair Struggle, and I'm there to see Cherry Bomb, and never heard of the two of you at the time. And I'm like, One Eye Doll, that's a cool name. And I'm like, okay, there's only two of them. And then you start, and I'm my jaw just drops. And she's up front. Junior, so she's the one in the costumes and the backflips, and that's badass. If you can backflip in your kit, that would be the shit. <laughs> I think you need to get a kit that raises you out and over the audience. That would be a badass. Ah, oh, dude. But the way you ended it was, <laughs> thank you, everybody. Okay, I'll see you all at the merch table, and you dove into the crowd. And everybody carried you from the stage all the way across to your merch table. <laughs> and I said, I have got to know that band. And at that moment, Kimberly was my favorite yeah. because she dove into the crowd and got carried. Uh, it, it is true. I actually <laughs> saw her. Um, I saw her do that at, um, at this place called the State Theater, uh, which is a really big kind of uh, you know music hall place that you know it's a big theater, and um, it was packed with people. We were opening for Mushroom Head at the time, and um, and then uh, she crowd surfed from the from the stage all the way back to the back of the theater where our merch table was so wow. it was pretty awesome so how does that do you really have faith that they're going to catch you Kimberly you know every every audience is different every night is different every moment is different so you, I kind of just uh, feel it out if I feel like I can get away with something like that if they have me then I'll go for it but I don't ever plan that kind of thing you know uh, That's so smart. it's just whatever feels like a good idea at the time you kind of you just gauge you know every every moment is different so so there's this time um, it was at uh, Fort Wayne Indiana she dove into the crowd at the end of the set and crowd surfed back to the merch table and as she was crowd surfing away uh, the security was like no crowd surfing and grabbed her boot started pulling her back and the yeah. audience was like Fuck no and they started pulling her back so i actually had to go out there and beat the, <laughs> the security guard and start punching was, his hand yeah he was so the security this really big guy had my ankles like this and then another one came up and joined him so they each had an ankle and i'm like they're gonna they're gonna do that torture thing where they like make her intestines come out and there's a barricade so the audience <laughs> totally had me and they were totally supporting and they were awesome and it was really dense, you know, so it was like, this is totally going to work. And then, uh, well, and it was, it was, yeah, it was the end of the set. So I was ready to like just sail back there and, you know, obviously not having planned any of this out in the beginning. It's just all in the spur of the moment. And then and the security guys took my ankles and were doing this tug of war with me against the audience and the audience was pulling me this way and security's pulling me that way and i'm like pull harder pull harder <laughs> I'm, I'm with the audience you know right because i want to go over there i don't want to be pulled back and bash my teeth on the barricade because that's what was going to happen if they pulled me loose they, they were going to bash thinking. my face into the barricade security was not protecting me they were doing the opposite of that and this is the, the audiences who really had me you know so so i was like Ah, and so Jason comes over and starts punching the hands of these security guys, <laughs> punching them in the hands. Get off her, get off her, get off her. And so, so finally, he's like fighting these two guys. 
audience is still pulling me back and, I'm, and it's just like on now the, now the audience is like we are gonna win and there are thousands of them this wow. was a huge huge show so finally Jason broke me free and I'm like I don't know what's gonna happen to him now but it, like and I took off this way and I'm like ah, I'm doing this you know this way this way and they're they're like totally got me right to the table and the coast, floated yeah. me down very gently cool. and then I continued with my meet and greet but these security guys oh my gosh all night every time I would like kind of get up on the crowd a little bit they would run and jump in front of me like they were just like super hardcore like no audience touching the artist or the other way around it was one of those crazy kind of clubs where even if people were just swaying like this they don't stop them from dancing because they, they didn't want a pit to break it's out. like footloose yeah. So it was okay. Uh, so now you're officially really my paranoid. favorite stage, and you're for doing that. Uh, yeah, that was so, incredible. High five. You Jason's risked actually, life and limb and jail time, so that Kimberly didn't get her face bashed in, and you did. Mm -hmm. You were appeasing your your fans. Clearly, the security it cracks me up, and it pisses me off when people will think that what they're doing is more important than the safety. Like, find her, find well, her, but yeah. grabbing her, and then if you know. You're not going to get it? Really? You're not thinking what you're doing with that? That just pisses me off. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's just who knows what they were told that their job description was that night. They're just doing their jobs, too. But it was uh, it was fun. It was a little battle, and the audience won, and I, I enjoyed that. That's a great much. story. I love yeah. that. That's a great tour story. I like that, even yeah. if it wasn't this tour. It was. So Jason's <laughs> actually my favorite member of One Eye Doll. Kimberly's my favorite, favorite member of One Eye Doll. Yeah. There you go, and I definitely don't want to ever decide... On different days, but I love you both. <laughs> right. So then, um, for the Vision Tour, what was uh, what came up with that decision? Visions, because your last one was the Witches Tour. Well, yeah. as as you uh, as you know, all of the bands on this bill have the word I in them. It's open your eyes, eyes set to kill, and when I don't. So ah. it just happened to be billed that way. I don't. I really don't know whose decision that was. It was presented to us by That's the great. agency. So. I guess there was a theme there, so we just went with it, and we went with visions. That's great. And that's that's really all it was. It's well, like, I tell you, why uh, do I work with this? For this show, Korean Fire Drill opened, and they all dressed up like one-eyed dolls. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, they're patch. they're in there. Uh, they already played them. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to see that show. I know you were busy doing your VIP thing. They had interviews, interviews yeah. but I'm sure somebody took video that we can. I had a, I got at least one song. Okay, right. we'll have to, we'll so have to I'll make sure to post that. But it was funny they were doing that, and then they kept switching positions and doing the Korean fire drill on top of being one night dolls. So it was an homage to you know you two. Thanks, they're so guys. grateful. They're so grateful to open for you. Yeah, well we're Absolutely. grateful to have them. They've been uh, promoting the show and getting everybody riled up, and we love them of course. We got to hang out with them and you at the same time. I know, right? When you were on my show last year. Right. So now that you're at the tail end of this. I, I'm guessing you're gonna rest. No. Yeah, we're gonna go back to the studio and record. No, yeah, no. More recording. We're gonna get right back into it. Ah, yeah. n no rest for the wicked. Yeah, and in fact, actually, our um, production manager uh, is uh, Mike Hidalgo. We're gonna be working on his album immediately. Yeah, we're I start know. recording him. Awesome. And um, and then also our stuff. But we have Great. a lot, a lot to do. A lot. So, no resting for us. We're just going to get right right back into it. So, you're going to try to do a tour that I guess in the next six to eight months? Uh, well, there are some things kind of in the works. We'll see. Nothing we can really Sing announce yet. Oh, okay. Shh. There are things being talked about in some places that we've never been. So, that's all I can say about you that. You two are always working. You're always embracing the grind. Always just bam. It's just really... Um, it's really inspirational, honestly. Thanks. You two you inspire. No, no, no. Seriously. You two. You go get her. I try, but you two are doing it. Like I'm getting there. Oh, you're so doing it. You Whatever. two are there. You're you so two are good. there. I mean, your followings. You've got like the tens of thousands of fans. I mean, anytime I've come to a show, you just have the most. I mean, when I showed up earlier today, and you had your VIP, and they're just so devoted in the paint and the way they talk, and it isn't even just that they genuinely love and respect the two of you. And you have to uh, you have to be proud of yourselves to know that you worked hard to earn that. Uh, we're not you worthy. Know? We're just not worthy. They, <laughs> they hold us in this in this regard, and we just feel very grateful that, for, that they have mistaken us for 
being way cooler than we are. <laughs> Not at all. So, like, for one last thing, what would you like to say to your fans? Um, oral hygiene is very important. Brush your teeth every single day, um, especially if you're planning on, on doing any kind of meet and greet. Uh, and, and uh, you know, at least twice a day, once in the morning, one at night, and then one right before meet and greet. And brush your teeth. Definitely before meet and greet. It's very important, yeah. There's nothing Floss. worse than someone going, hey, and you're like, <laughs> just. And um, also take your vitamins. Drink lots and lots of water. Important to stay hydrated. Eat your veggies. Um, green stuff. It's good for you. It's got the chlorophylls. And, and look both ways before crossing the street. Yeah. That's it? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's sound advice. And uh, follow Mickey Angeline. <laughs> On all of the various networks that she is commanding. That I'm commanding? Yes. I've got some things in the works too. So yeah? I think we both will have some things to share down the road. Maybe we'll have some things together. That would be a dream come true. Yeah. Maybe we can, you know, pray to the vision gods for that one. How about I, that? I think that I'm already thinking of stuff right now. Oh my goodness. Well then, okay, so then make sure we all follow y'all at one I, it's one -idol .com. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. <laughs> Our website is actually um, I set to kill .com. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's openyoureyes.com. You can find us at openyoureyes.com. I'm Justin, the lead singer. I've got these really long dreadlocks and I totally shred on guitar. And I'm a very nice person and write really catchy, great songs. Oh, I ran so far away that I barely, barely made it out of Mickey Angeline. <laughs> you barely made it out of Mickey Angeline. Yeah, that's our hit song. That's, wow. I'm, if I couldn't have gotten any redder, that was really okay. <laughs> Well, then there you go. So it's actually oneidol.com. And you actually do shred. And you actually do have good vocals and catchy songs. So we look forward to the new stuff. And thank you again for taking the time thank you. to interview. Mm -mm -mm.